No, I think it's very important to bear in mind that Prime Minister Modi is not a repeat of Prime Minister Manmohan Singh or even Prime Minister Vajpayee. Narendra Modi came into Delhi, he was elected to Delhi with a massive mandate for a new kind of politics and a new kind of policy. So it's very important for people across the globe to understand that, just as the people of India have understood that. And I think our friends in Islamabad possibly did not uh, take, uh, take this very seriously. I am told that there have been enough indications from the Modi government to the Pakistan side that please don't talk to the Hurrian. It's going to be a severe problem for India in terms of domestic policy. And if you talk to the Hurrian, it basically means you're not serious on a discussion with us. So my information is they had ample notice of what was coming and yet they chose to go ahead. So in which case I would say the entire onus for the talks being cancelled rests on the Pakistan side. Does this uh, over Poorly for our region, Mr. Modi has made a huge effort to try and bring South together. And South has been held to ransom because of the India-Pakistan relationship not really panning out. Uh, is there some way that Pakistan can be made to feel the responsibility for South being put into abeyance because of its actions? Well, I'd like to say quite clearly that uh, so far as Pakistan is concerned, we've been having this policy for very long or pretending that the civilian government really represents the entire government of Pakistan, or pretending that the military in Pakistan, like the military in India, or Japan, or China, or the United States, is basically a professional military. That's not the case. The Pakistan military, quite frankly, is a rogue army. The Pakistan military controls the state. The Pakistan military controls much of the economy. It controls the narcotics trade. It controls the Hawala trade, including the Hawala narcotics trade in India. So it's a state it's not really this, it's the Pakistan state that is a state within the state. Pakistan is essentially a military state with a small, insignificant little civilian superstructure which is used as camouflage so that countries like the United States and China can continue to shovel huge amounts of aid to Pakistan in various forms without their citizens getting angry and upset. So this is basically camouflage for the military to operate under. Now what I think the decision by the Modi government has done is to strip this camouflage at least so far as India is concerned. India has made it very plain to the government in Pakistan that if you can't control your military, if you can't control its jihadi impulses, if you can't control its interference in other countries, then sorry, you're not a kind of an interlocutor with which there'll be any sense in having discussions with you.